Tom Shaven with the Boone County Sheriff's Department joins us now. Good to see you, Tom. Good to see Hate you. Hate the circumstances for it, but you know, yesterday I was I was hearing about this latest couple of arrests in Boone County, and the first thing that went through my mind was, what is going on? Not just in Boone County, but what is going on with kids? Do you have any perspective on this? You know, I wish I did, mm -hmm. and and I don't think it's one of those things where we could just um, plug them into one category. Mm -hmm. There's just too many aspects uh, I, I think to to look at here but Sheriff Helmick and I were talking about this yesterday afternoon as a matter of fact and and one thing uh, that came up was uh, perhaps there's an uptick in these after there's a national incident somewhere oh, okay. uh, the, the final consensus was though uh, there's just real no rhyme or reason hmm. that we, we can put our finger on. Uh, it, it'd be fair to say, though, this is unusual. A boot count is a large system, but to have five different uh, people involved in these sorts of things uh, is it, highly unusual. It, it is, um, I, but I think why w we see more numbers in Boone County is we have an SRO in every public school. The school yeah. resource and officer. Yes, mm -hmm. thank you. And we forged um, relationships with those staffs, those school staffs, and, and they know if a, they see or hear anything like that, they report it to the SRO, school resource that's officer. A good and thing. then, that's, yes, that's a good that thing. is a Absolutely. good thing. You mentioned that, you know, there might not be any rhyme or reason, but is there something happening in these, just talking about these five kids maybe, something happening at home, something happening at school that, that maybe contributed to them? making a threat like this? You know, and again, if we could put them in one category. Yeah. I know one uh, was upset because he was reprimanded for being in a fight. Mm -hmm. Another one uh, got upset about something that was said on the way home in a school bus, so now mm -hmm. I'm gonna shoot up the back of the school bus. You, you know, it's, it's just, um, yeah, yeah they, it's all over the map, if you will. Yeah, it seems as if, I, I, it, 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 at least most, if not all of these cases, it's a, a response to something that has happened to them that has angered them or upset them or something like that. They must not realize that th these are real things that are happening that will affect their lives for a long time to come uh, just by making a threat. Indeed. I, I mean, we know because we've screwed up somewhere along the line, all, all actions have consequences. Yes. And, and I think they have to recognize and, and I think they certainly do when the handcuffs are placed on them and they're put in juvenile detention. And, and I'm not sure if you're aware, in Kentucky, unless it's a very serious offense, juveniles are taken into custody and then released to their parents okay. mm -hmm. with the promise to come to court. Right. Um, we, we are putting these children, the judges are putting these children in, in juvenile detention, in at facility. least for the night. And then they come back for a hearing in the yeah. morning, and oftentimes they're going back after the hearing. This is that serious. This is we 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 can't let up one inch on these things because when we do, there's going to be a school shooting. So yeah. that's, some, that's something really good that parents can kind of underline with their kids: what will happen. Yeah, but not just then, but how it affects. But the obviously, too. It's, uh, it's going to take a lot more than just the law enforcement component to right. in order to get a, a, a handle on this. Yeah, yeah. I, th I think that's you just hit the nail on on the head. Right. Tom Shaven, thank you so much for My coming. My pleasure. And giving us Thanks some for having me this morning.